Hello, my name is Zach, and I like to backpack around the world. Good morning from Limassol, Cyprus. Today I am taking a bike to ancient Corian and try not to get rain over. All right, let's do this. Well, that didn't go as planned. I am a way too short for this bike. Even with the seat all the way down, I can still barely touch the ground when I need to stop. And in Limassol and really any city in the world, that's some dangerous shit when you gotta go through intersections and shit. So, with that being said, I'm not gonna go to ancient Kurion via bike. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get there on this trip or not. I hope so, cause it looks awesome, but I'm not trying to get killed trying to go there and it's also very very hard to pedal like it feels like i'm pedaling on brakes so i don't think it's happening on that bike man i don't think it's very safe if i do decide to continue my journey on this bike so they should have shorter bikes because it's a hazard for me but Majority of people in Europe are not short, so. So they don't make bikes for the minority here in Europe. Well, they do, but not for rent. So let's take this back and figure out what I'm gonna do. And this is where I park my bike. Once I put my brakes on, which I probably should stop recording right about now so I don't fuck myself up. All right. Well, that didn't work out. Oh well, I'm going to walk to this convenience store up here and get a Coke because I have not worked out like that in a long time. I am exhausted. And I only did that for about two kilometers. So I have like 20 more kilometers to go. Limassol. Cyprus. Whew. That Coke is gonna taste so good. Look at this cute dog. Hey. That's okay. I think I pissed that dog off. How dare an American touch me? Well, I'm going to be getting me a Coca-Cola from this convenience store right here. It is only 85 euro, the cheapest I've seen it since I've been over here in Europe on this trip. I'll get me two Cokes. Hello. Okay, I have my Coca-Cola. Now I'm going to sit over here and listen to people honk at me, even though it's probably not at me, but I'm so self-centered. I'm gonna pretend they are honking at me. Okay, I'm gonna sit right here. Oh my God. I need this Coke. Cheers from Limassol, Cyprus. Ooh. That is good. That was my first time riding a bicycle since I was a kid. I went about two kilometers on that bike and I am exhausted. What was I thinking, thinking I could get to ancient Kurion from here? That's like a 20 kilometer bike ride. 
at least if I don't get turned around. Maybe I would do better just to rent a car. You know what? I haven't done a proper bar hop in quite a while. Maybe since St. Louis. I did a little bit of a bar hop in Tel Aviv, but I really don't count it. So tonight, let's do a bar hop. So next time you see me, I'll be heading to the pubs and the bars because there's a street down here that has like five, six bars in a row. So let's see if I can go to them all. My name is Zach. And I do like to backpack around the world. Before I go out and get a beer, I just want to say that I have been in Limassol, Cyprus for four days since this past Wednesday. And, well, this video is going to be up way later. So, I've been in Limassol since November 14th, 2018. And it is currently November 17th, 2018. So, I've been here for four days. And I wanted to come here because I heard it was fairly cheap to travel in and within Cyprus. And I have maybe spent about 50 euros, I think, maybe, since coming here, besides the hostel. So maybe, uh, maybe like 140 euros so far. Still. If I were to go to Milan or Paris for three days, I would have spent way more than that. So, I'm only spending about 13 US dollars a night at this place. And right now, I'm the only one here. So, Coca-Cola is only 85 cents here in Cyprus. The cheapest that I've had it my entire trip so far, besides in Chicago, Illinois. The food has been relatively cheap. Like I've been able to get food under $10, 10 euros. So it has been a really cheap city compared to Tel Aviv, Israel, where no matter where I would go, like if I were to pick a random restaurant, wham, 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 30 US dollars, 30 US dollars, 30 US dollars. I would go, oh my God, even in Jerusalem. So, you know what? I just had to think to myself, do I really want to keep doing this? I mean, I already knew going into this trip, I was going to nothing but expensive destinations. So, I was like, you know what? For now and for in the future, I am making no plans when I travel. Like, say I want to go to... Berlin, Germany. I'm gonna get a flight, a round trip flight to Berlin or wherever the cheapest place to go to within Europe from like Chicago or New York City. And I'm not gonna plan the second city. I'm not gonna plan the third city. I'm going to go to Berlin and plan it when I get there because you know what? Plans change. Feelings change. You might not want to spend a week in Israel. You might want to, three days in, say, hey, you know what? I kind of want to go to Cyprus, you know, for a couple of days. So, I am no longer going to be making plans when I travel. Also, the way I travel, I kind of want to change because I don't really like it. One, I don't really want to keep staying in hostels the entire trip. I mean, this hostel is actually awesome, but most hostels, eh, eh. So, you know what? I'd like to stay in hostels like half a trip and then Airbnbs or hotels another half. Like in expensive cities like Paris, Milan, Copenhagen, Yes, hostels, good choice. But in places like Krakow, Warsaw, Bangkok, uh, even Singapore, even though it's not really cheap, but you can make it cheap, in Mexico City, I'm gonna stay in hotels in those kind of cities because you can get a hotel 
in those cities for the price of what a hostel cost in the expensive cities. So you know what? Sorry to make this little clip kind of long, but. And also another thing I'm gonna change about how I travel. Usually when I travel, like when I plan, start planning for my trips, like say I have $2,000 and I just go ahead and buy a trip or a flight in two months to Copenhagen. And I need $5,000 for that said trip. So then I would need about $4,000 to save up within that two months. I kind of want to change how I do that. I kind of want to already have the money and then buy the flight and then enjoy myself, you know? Because I don't want to stress myself when I am at home to come up with that money. When I get the money, I will travel. And I've even thought about doing it in something else, like maybe once a month do a mini trip, like anywhere from two to seven days, just somewhere nearby Memphis, Tennessee, or maybe even take a flight to Mexico or something, because that's cheap. Uh, maybe that is a possibility. And then maybe in like every six months, do a bigger trip, do a big trip. So, so three to seven days nearby or Mexico, and then every six months do like a two, three month trip. That is also a possibility. So yeah, I've just been living the Pura Vida lifestyle. You know, the lifestyle that they live in Costa Rica. I've just been taking it easy while here in Limassol, Cyprus. I kind of feel bad I haven't really done anything touristy. But at the same time, I am off work for five weeks. So you know what? Even though I am traveling, I love traveling, this is what I do. I am on vacation, no matter how you want to spin it. I have a nine to five job. Well, not literally, well, yeah. I have a nine to five job. So when I'm off from that job, technically speaking, I'm on vacation. So you know what? It's okay to take a day or a few days to breathe and just, and I have been like walking around like the promenade and all that other stuff, but haven't done I really want to do Corian but I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it I will do the I will do the Limassol castle tomorrow so stay tuned for that uh, other than that I've just been taking it easy Pura Vida you know just relax shit the Limassol bar hop and discovering the nightlife here in Limassol will be a part of part two of this video because I believe that video will need a video of its own. So for part two of this video, click right here. It will be clickable. It will be, there will be a video right here once that video is up. So if it's up, you probably can click it right here. Go ahead.